Hey, it's Michael here with Jade Puma. In this video, I'm going to show you how to, how to add a dynamic uh, call to action button to your product page. So let's just show you what that looks like. Here we are on uh, one of our stores and we have a product page that has quite a lot of content. So the danger with a, a page like this can be that the, the customer can get lost in the content of the page and then never make their way back up to the product form at the top where they can actually go ahead and add the product to their cart. And so to rectify that, we've added this feature where as a customer scrolls, once the product form leaves the page, uh, they have this sticky add to cart button at the bottom of the page. And at any time they can click that and it will take them right back up to the product form so they can go ahead and uh, choose their options and add the product to their cart. So to add this um, sticky add to cart button, there's just a few steps we need to take. So let's go ahead and do those. So here we are on our example site. And uh, the first thing we wanna do is add a new snippet. So let's come in here to snippets and add a new snippet we're going to call our new snippet uh, product bottom CTA. So product bottom CTA dot liquid. So we hit create snippet. And the code for this snippet, you'll find it um, if you're on YouTube, you'll find it below this video. Or if you're on our website, you'll find it just below this video as well. Um, so here we are. Here is the code. So add the snippet. So let's come down to the bottom of this code block and we find view raw and let's copy all this code and then come in here and paste it into our new snippet and hit save. Okay, now there's just a couple more things we need to do. So let's come back to uh, our tutorial here and go to step two. Now we have this little snippet here so let's copy that and as the inst instructions say here, add above the first line of the product.liquid snippet. So let's see if we can find the product.liquid snippet. Snippets, let's look for product.liquid, here it is. And we wanna add it above the first line. So right here, so this is gonna serve as the anchor uh, point for where we jump to when we click that button. So you could put this somewhere else. I like to put it just at the at the top of the product.liquid snippet. So let's save that. And then the last thing, let's look at step uh, step two, step three, it should be. Um, and we wanna add this little piece of code to our theme.liquid file. So let's come back in here uh, theme.liquid you can find under layout theme.liquid and as it says here we need to add this above the closing body tag so let's come all the way down to the end of this file and let's find the closing body tag so here's the closing body tag and we can just paste our new little piece of code above that and hit save and uh, once you refresh now you should have your new call to action button active on all your product pages just like that okay thanks for watching